Alrighty, hello and welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we'll be playing Game 3 of the 1978 Red Sox um, season. So, here's the lineup for the your bo visiting Boston Red Sox. Batting first and playing second base, Jerry Remy. Batting second and playing shortstop, Rick Burleson, the rooster. Batting third... And DHing, Jim Rice. Batting fourth, Carl Yastrzemski, the captain. Batting fourth and catching, Carlton Pudge Fisk. Batting sixth and playing center field, Freddie Lynn. Batting seventh and playing first base, the Boomer George Scott. Batting eighth and playing right field, Dwight Dewey Evans. And batting ninth and playing third base, Butch Hobson. For the White Sox, here's the lineup as as is follows. Oh, and bat and uh, pitching for the Boston Red Sox will be Bill the Spaceman Lee. For the Chicago White Sox, the home team, Ralph Geyer will be batting first and playing left field. George Orta second base and batting second. Batting third, Lamar Johnson and playing first base. Batting fourth, the right fielder, Barry Bonds. Batting fifth, the center fielder, Chet Lemon. Batting sixth and playing third base, Eric Soderholm. Batting seventh and DHing, Junior Moore. Batting eighth, behind the plate, Wayne Nordhagen. And batting ninth, the veteran shortstop, John Don Kessinger. Let's get started. Welcome to the stadium for today's ball game. Lower that a little bit. Alrighty, so pitching for the Chicago White Sox will be Wilbur Wood, playing third base, Eric Soderholm, shortstop Don Kessinger, second base George Orta, first base Lamar Johnson, and the outfield Lamar, uh, yeah, Ralph Gar, playing left field, Chet Lemon, playing center field. And Bobby Bonds playing right field. Behind the plate, Wayne Nordhagen. Batting first for the Red Sox will be Jerry Remy. The corners, the White Sox are playing the corners in. All right, let's get started here. Let's see here. I don't know why it keeps going back to that. Uh, my dice roll here. Let's see here. Here we go. Dice mode. I think everything else is, should be all set here. Let's just double check. Dice cards split. Dice rolled automatically. Split cards are automatic. Alrighty. We're all set. Here's the windup and the pitch. Looks like it's going to be on Remy's three column. And he flies out to Bonds, who makes the catch. One up, one down. Next up will be the Rooster Rick Burleson. He's batting 286 on the season with a one RBI. Let me get rid of this 
other thing up here. Let's see here. Uh, remember how to get rid of that so far today box there. Game screen layout. There we go. So uh, somebody gave me some advice on how to move this stuff by just clicking on the edge of the boxes and moving it, but that doesn't seem to work. So if anybody has any other idea um, how to move that, it may have worked in earlier earlier versions, but it does not work in this one. So that would be much appreciated. Alrighty, so let's see here. Where is it? So far today. All right, let's get rid of that. Alrighty, so now we can see the scoreboard. Alrighty, so scores for today. Seattle 1, Minnesota nothing. Oakland A's have a 2 to nothing lead on California. Baltimore and Milwaukee are scoreless. Toronto and Detroit are scoreless. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Toronto is leading Detroit two to nothing, and can't see the last two scores over there. Oh. No. <laughs> anyway, all right. So Rook Burleson will be up now. One down, and nobody on. It's going to be off the pitcher's card. It's going to be a fly ball to. Left field, guard camps under it, makes the catch. Let's see if I can speed up the uh, the ball there a little bit here. Uh, let's see, preferences, flight of ball speed. Yeah, let's go a little faster here. Let's go, let's try 75, see how that works. All right, next up with two down will be Jim Ed Rice. He's Batting 222 with a homer and two RBIs so far in this young season. Off the pitcher's five column. Give me a ground ball to second. Over to first. And he's out. Three up, three down. So after one half inning, Red Sox nothing, and Chicago come in the bat. All right. So batting for the red, uh, pitching for the Red Sox will be Bill the Spaceman Lee. Ralph Gar will be, steps into the box. So far he's batting 375 with no home runs and no RBIs. Here's the pitch. Looks like a ground ball the third. Check Robson Hobson's range and <laughs> his error rating. So, if he doesn't make an error, I will be surprised. And, it, yeah, of course, E1. <laughs> so, I believe that's Hobson's first error on the season. Just double check to be sure here. And I was quite surprised uh, that he hadn't made an error yet. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I think it might be in here, actually. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't show it here. At least I don't think so. Oh, anyway. I believe that's his first error on the season. Alright, next up for the White Sox will be George uh, Orta here. He's hitting 125 with a homer and an RBI. So the White Sox have a run in scoring position with nobody out. Here's the pitch. Looks like a triple here for Orta. So it's going to go way up back against the wall. It's going to bounce around a little bit. You know, Gar easily comes around the score. So the White Sox score first today. 
triple for George Orta. Lamar Johnson's up now. He's hitting 143. Seven at-bats. Still nobody out. So it's going to be a fly ball to left. Stremski camps under it, makes the catch. And Orta comes in the score. Second Chicago run. One down, nobody on. And uh, Bear, Bobby Bonds will be coming up now. He's got a strong start to the season. The first two games, he's hitting 600 with a homer and three RBIs. Uh, okay. Only five at bats, though. Lee looks in for the sign. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to second. Remy's up with it. And he throws him out for the second out of the inning. Two down. Chet Lemon strides to the plate. He's hitting 571 with an RBI and seven at bats. He has a double. So a ground ball to third. Hops two hopper. Hobson's up with it. And he's out. Let's see. Try to go a little faster here. Alrighty. Red Sox will have Kali Yastrzemski coming up. Followed by Colin Fisk and Fred Lynn. And if anybody gets on, George Scott. Kali Yastrzemski is hitting 286 with a homer and two RBIs. And he walks him. Good eye for Yastrzemski. Draws the walk. Wood was not happy at all. All right, next up is Carlin Fisk with a runner on first. He's hitting 222, nine at bats. Wood looks in for the sign, nods his head. Here's the pitch. And Fisk strikes out. One down for the Red Sox. Fred Lynn strides to the plate. He's hitting 250 with a homer and an RBI in eight at bats. Ground ball to the pitcher. Hits it to Wood. Wood picks it up and fires the second. Throw to first. Double play. That ends the inning. After one and a half, Chicago two, Red Sox nothing. Well, the one and a half. All right, the White Sox will have Eric Soderholm, Junior Moore, and Wayne Nordhagen coming up. See if Bill Lee can have a better inning than he did in the first. Ground ball to short. Burleson's up with it. Over to Scott. One down, one out. Next up is Junior Moore. This is first at bat of the season. Ground ball to second. Remy fires it over to first. Two down. Wayne Norke Hagen comes up. He's 0 for 5 on the season. I'm sorry. He's 2 for 5 on the season. He's hitting 400. Gets under it, pops it out to short. And Burleson makes the catch for the third out. Perfect inning for Lee. One, two, three. Alrighty. 
The Red Sox will have Scott, Evans, and Hobson. George Scott is hitting 143 and 7 at bats. He has a double. And it's one Harper, and he's out. That's a little too fast there. Alrighty, let's have some scores in the day. Cleveland leads Kansas City one to nothing. Toronto's slipping by Detroit two to nothing. Baltimore is edging Milwaukee one to nothing. McGregor battling Sorensen. Oakland with the lead over California six to three. Worth com comfortably ahead for Oakland. Minnesota and Seattle a deadlocked at three. Zahn battling House. Greg Zahn batting Tom House. New York and Texas are scoreless. All right, next up for the Red Sox will be Dwight Evans. He's yet to have a hit on the season. And seven at-bats. Here's the windup and the pitch. Ground ball to short. Range check. Kessinger's up with it. Sinking fastball, Evans hard ground ball right at Kessinger, snares it, throws the first, out by a step, two down. Nordhagen asks for a new ball, calls time, and trots to the mound. Okay. Alrighty, next up will be the number nine hitter, Butch Hobson. He's hitting 286 and seven at bats. All right. Here's the pitch. And he draws the walk. Breaking ball low. Ball four. Two at walk for Hobson. Top of the lineup. Remy's up now. He's 0 for 1. Alrighty, looks like he has a hit here. Let's see here. Safe chance one and two. Uh, Burleson coming up next. Uh, doesn't really matter. There's two out, so I'm going to hold the runners. So Yost puts up the stop sign of Hobson stays at second. Rick Burleson coming up now. He's 0 for 1 of the day. Hoping to knock in that first Red Sox run and cut the lead in half. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to second. Hot shot to second. Order grabs it over to first in times. 4-3. That retires aside. Burleson fails to come through in the clutch for Boston. No runs, one hit, and no errors, and two men left on base. All right, Don Kessinger is up now for the White Sox. He's hitting 167 and six at bats. Goes out and gets it. Line in the center. Lean left to hurry. Comes. He has to play it on a hop. Single for Kessinger. That would have been a home run if he had normal power, but I believe he has weak power. So, fortunately, it's just a single. All right, he has Ralph Ralph Garb now. He's one for one with a run. Here's the pitch. Looks like a single. Offense must decide. Oh, wait a second here. I didn't think I was playing them. Uh, I'm going to hold them. But hold on there. I do not want to be playing the defense there. Let's see. Cancel. Uh, where is it? Is it here? Oh, here we go. All right. I thought I had checked that, but I guess I didn't. All 
Alrighty, first and second now for the White Sox. Still up, already up two to nothing. Nobody out. Red Sox have the corners in. Porter steps to the plate. He's one for one with a triple. Clean line. Well, it looks like he was squaring around the bunt. He fouled it off. See if they'll keep it on. And they take it off. And Lee wa uh, walks in. Bases loaded now with nobody out. Zimmer starts pacing around the dugout now. Infield then. Wind up in the pitch. Ground ball to short. Burleson has it. Flips it over to second. Oh, fires it towards net. He goes for Kessinger at home. And he gets him at home. So I guess they opted not to go for the double play there. 6-2-3 on that put out. Two gone for Chicago. Bobby Bonds will be coming up to the plate now. The runners on second and third. Oh, and they did get the double play. Yeah, home the first double play. My bad. Alrighty, second and third now. What were the what should we do with Bonds here? Let's see here. He's a danger. He's a power threat here. Let's see what do we got coming up next? Chet Lemon. And he's a 300 hitter. We have two down now, so we're gonna we're gonna pitch to him. Lee winds up, gets a sign. Here's the pitch, and a big mistake. <laughs> As Bonds goes yard, going going gone. Tremendous blast. Bonds' a second home run of the year, and the White Sox go up five to nothing. Definitely should not have pitched to him. <laughs> Bad managerial decision on that part. Puts Chicago up five to nothing. Red Sox are gonna get somebody going getting up in the pen now. Let's see, who are we gonna get up going? Let's see. Well, in real life, Lee pitched a complete game, but I don't think he's gonna do that today. Let's see here. I think we're gonna get Uh, Bergmeier and we're gonna get Bergmeier and, and Drago up in the pen here. Alrighty, here comes Chet Lemon. White Sox up five to nothing, and he strikes him out. One batter too late, though. <laughs> uh, okay. Alrighty. The Red Sox have some work to do now. Red Sox will send the heart of the order in Rice, Yastrzemski, and Fisk. Rice is 0 for 1 on the day. Here's the pitch. And he walks them. A good start for the inning. Red Sox need base runners. Here comes Yastrzemski. He walked in the first inning. Wilbur winds up and the pitch. And Yastrzemski has a single here. Rice is... We're going to hold the runner. Hideos puts up the stop sign. Rice will stay at second. Definitely need don't need to get thrown out at third here. Especially down five runs. Alright, first and second. Nobody out. Red Sox have something going here in the fourth. Comes Fisk. I believe he struck out in the first time, his first at bat. Ground ball to short. This could be two. And he boots it. Kessinger boots the ball. In the dirt, and Johnson can't come up with it. It'll be a throwing error in Kessinger, number one of the game for Chicago. And the bases are loaded now. 
for Freddie Lynn. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Currently hitting 222. Here's the windup in the pitch. Looks like a fly ball to center. Is it deep enough? 1 to 16. Yeah, we're going to go for it. We're going to send the lead runner here. Throw is coming home. Want to hold the trailing runners here. And Rice scores for the first Red Sox run. Credit Lynn with a sack fly. First and second now with one out. Five to one. Comes the Boomer. He's 0 for 1 in the day. So ground ball to short. This could be two. Take Mike Kessinger over to second for one. Double play. 6-4-3. That's it for the Red Sox in the fourth inning. Midway through midway through the fourth, the White Sox lead five to one. At least we got on the board. Alrighty, next up will be Eric Soderholm. He's 0 for 1. Looks like Bergmeyer and Drago are just about ready. Range play for on Fisk. High pop in front of the plate. Drifting foul. Fisk calls for it. Makes the play. Ump signals foul ball. One out. Next up is Junior Moore. He's 0 for 1 also. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to short. Burleson's up with it. And over to first for the out. Two down. 6-3 if you're scoring at home. And why would you? <laughs> right, Ron? <laughs> Alrighty. Sorry, Al. Alright, here we go. See two down and Wayne Nordhagen coming up. He's 0 for 1. Ground ball the first. Scott has it. Races the first and beats Nordhagen for the out. Now White Sox go quietly in the fourth. Let's see if the Red Sox can cut into that deficit. Trailing by four runs. Okay, Dwight Evans comes up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Looks like a possible home run here. Deep to left center. Watch it. Gar can just watch it go. Deep smash. Deep center. Gar and Lemon converge. Lemon pulls up and so does Gar. They can both only look up. That ball is out of here. So Dwight Evans brings the Red Sox another run closer. 5 to 2 now. Red Sox have a powerful lineup. A lot of power. Hobson gets a little bit under it. Chet Lemon sprints over to make the play. It's time to check the scoreboard. Kansas City leads Cleveland 2-1. To Toronto beating Detroit 5-1. to one. Baltimore and Milwaukee are all knotted up at 1. Oakland is best in California, 8-3. to three. Minnesota and Seattle are, are knotted at 4. New York slipping by Texas, 2 to nothing. Figueroa battling Alexander. And those are the scores. Brought to you by L Red Sox Fan. Check out his channel for great sports replays, boxing, and video games. That's L Red Sox Fan. Alrighty, next up will be Jerry Remy. He's one for two on the day. So it's going to be on his card. Looks like ground ball to short. Motoring to first. Kessinger swings quickly to Johnson. Out by a step, and it's two down now. Rick Bross will be coming up now. He's hitless on the day. 
Here's the pitch. And he walks him. So the Red Sox have a two-out base runner. Number four on, on the day by Wood. All right, next up will be Jim Rice. He's 0 for 1, but does have a run scored. Scored the first Red Sox 1. Wood's got to pitch him carefully there because Rice can hit one out in a second. He has a wind up in the pitch. And another walk. It's number 5 for first and second now. Burleson moves down the second. So two outs, runners on first and second for the captain. Some stirring in the White Sox bullpen. Looks like they got some guys loosening up. Here's the wind up in the pitch. And he lines out to Orta. That's all she wrote. So Boston, so the Red Sox have two runs, three hits, and one error. And they've left five base runners. Chicago has five runs, five hits, and one error. And I don't know how many they've left on base today. We don't have computer guy to tell us. <laughs> we just have text guy. Alrighty. Uh, Don Kessinger will be coming up now. He's one for one. See if the White Sox can add to the lead. He winds up and the pitch. The ground ball the third. Taken by Hobson. Throws the first. He guts him. 5-3. Lee retires the batter to first batter to face him in the bottom of the fifth. So it looks like the Red Sox bullpen has quieted down now. They're just looking out. See, looks like they're all warmed up and ready to go. Just waiting for that call. Here's Ralph Gar. He's two for two with two runs scored. Currently batting 500. Is the pitch. And he gets that single. Wow. Well, actually, it was a 12. That was a one. But So through the infield for, a, for his third hit of the day. Next up is George Order. He's one for one with a triple. Still no sign from the Red Sox dugout. Are they going to let him pitch? Runner goes with the pitch. It's a hit and run. Smash in the center. Order has a base hit. Gar goes all the way to third. The Red Sox follow Wee Willie's advice beautifully. They hit it where they ain't. All right, here comes Zim to the mound. Looks like he's motioning for the bullpen. And it looks like Dick Drago is going to come in. Motions for the right-hander. So, Lee has a short outing today. He's already let up five runs, responsible for two runners. All right, Dick Drago is coming in now. He's 1-0 and and got the victory the other day. One inning pitched. Two walks and one strikeout. The season for the season he was four four and four with seven saves, three oh four ERA, and seventy seven innings pitched. Seventy one hits, thirty two walks, and seventy two strikeout or forty two strikeouts. So runners on first and third and one out. Looks like the Red Sox are gonna play at normal depth here, hoping for the double play. Here's the windup. Drago looks in. Here's the pitch. It's a ground ball of the shirt. This could be two. A uh, second could be two. Take him over to Over to second for one. On the first. Double play. Four, six, three. Three down now for Chicago. So after five, Chicago's on top. Five to two. <laughs> I could use some pizza right now, but it's a little late for that. Getting close to midnight here in here in Massachusetts. Alrighty. The Red Sox will have Fisk, Lynn, and Scott. Go 
Carlton Fisk is 0 for 2 on the day. Here's the pitch. Hits it to left. Gar under it, makes the grab. One down. Here comes Fisk. I mean, Lynn. He's 0 for 1 with an RBI. He had a sacrifice fly to score the Red Sox first run. Here's the windup and the pitch. It's a fly ball to right. Can Bonds get to it? And he gets to it. And he makes the play for the second out of the inning. Diving catch. Beautiful play by Bonds. Next up will be the boomer, George Scott. He's 0 for 2. They could use some boom right now. Looks like another fly ball to right. Looks like Bonds is going to get it. He circles under it. Makes the play. Red Sox go 1-2-3 in the 6th inning. Here comes Bobby, Bobby Barnes. He had a huge 3-run home run in the bottom of the 3rd. He's 1-2. for two. His second homer of the year. And Drago gets him. It looks like a hook below the knees. He missed it by a mile. Okay, next up will be... Chat Lemon, he's 0 for 2. And he's hit by the pitch. Touched his uniform. Lemon is awarded first base. Next up, Eric Soderholm. He's also 0 for 2. Ground ball the short. All right, this could be two. Burleson takes it on one hop. Pirates are aiming for one. Back to Scott. Double play. Red Sox needed that. Pitcher's best friend there. So after six, Chicago leads five to two. Comes Dwight Evans. He's one for two with a homer. Hit a solo home run in the fifth inning to give the Red Sox their second run. And could this be another one? And yes, it is. Almost the same spot as the first one. Two home runs for Dwight Evans on the day. 405 feet. So the Red Sox close the gap. Now only down by two. Man, the Red Sox have a lot of power. Especially Evans today. Ground ball the first. Johnson takes it. One hot. Flips it to Wood. One down. Top of the lineup coming up now. Jerry Remy. He's one for three. Looks like a ground ball to second. Taken by order. Throws him out. Four three. Two gone for Boston. Next up is Rook Burleson. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. And he strikes out. Just inside. It looks like he went around. So that retires the side. Alrighty. Here's the trivia question. Stratomatic trivia question of the day. Name two of the three members of the pennant winning outfield of the 1959 Chicago White Sox. Oh, jeez. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say Luis Aparicio. I don't even know he... Uh, Aparicio? I don't even know he played for the White Sox. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, here's a chance for you at home to answer. Here are the answers. Not even close. <laughs> Al Smith left field. Jim Landis center field. And Jim Rivera right field. Alrighty, let's get back to the action here. Bottom of the seventh inning. Chicago up now five to three. 
Drago has pitched fine ever since coming in, holding that lead. It's exactly what a relief pitcher is supposed to do. Ground ball to second. Oh. Remy takes it on the second hop, fires the first. Out by a couple of steps. One up and one down. Wait, Nordhagen up now? He's over for two. Looks like ground ball to Burleson. Moves in front of it. Bad bounce. Stayed with it. Over to first. Nordhagen is retired. Nice play by the Red Sox shortstop. It's out number two. Comes Don Kessinger. He's one for two. Looks like another ground ball to Burleson. He's got a range of one. Hot shot to short. Grabs it over to Scott. He gets him. Third out of the inning. So today's attendance has just been announced. It's 24,859. And in real life, the attendance was 30,794. All right. All right, so the Red Sox, top of the eighth here. They'll have Rice, Yastrzemski, Fisk. If anybody gets on, Freddie Lynn. Red Sox need, need, need a base runner or two. Looks like a ground ball to short. Kessinger's a Ranger three. Air rating 17. Smash to short, taken by Kessinger. Over to first, Getson. 6 3. One gone. Stratomatic Storber, Kansas City lead over Cleveland 4 1. Toronto in front of Detroit 5 2. Still going too fast. Kirkwood comfortably ahead for Toronto. Baltimore slipping by Milwaukee 3 1. Oakland leads California 8 7. And Minnesota's in, Minnesota's in front of Seattle 7 4. And the Yankees are on top of the Rangers 3 1. And in our contest, Chicago's up 5-3 to three over the Red Sox. All right, one down for the captain. He's one for two with a, with a walk. Lined up in the pitch. Looks like it's on his second column, which is his best column. Looks like a homer for the captain. Deep to right. Bonds looks at the warning track. Goodbye, Dolly Gray. Holy cow. Whatever that means. Home run for the Boston left fielder. Just made it over the wall. So the Red Sox have closed the deficit to just one now. Going to be a pitching change. Wood will hit the showers. Larry on the girl coming in relief. He's the right-hander. This is making his first appearance of the season. For the season... He was 6 and 5 with 16 saves, ERA of 4.40, and 88 innings pitched, 85 hits, 38 walks, and 42 strikeouts. Karen Fisk steps up to the plate. He's 0 for 3. And he strikes him out. Wicked breaking ball. Fisk goes fishing for it out of the zone. Two down now. Freddie Lind comes up to the plate. He's 0 for 2 with an RB with a sacrifice fly. And it looks like they're going to be pitching around Lynn. Ball 4. They intentionally walk Lynn with 2 outs. Alrighty. Questionable strategy there, but... Alright. Next up will be George Scott. He's 0 for 3 on the day. Let's see here. Do we want to... Do we want to get a pinch hitter here? Let's see. What is his defensive rating? 2E15. Who do we have on the bench? Uh, we don't see Cecil Cooper anymore. That's right. He has gone to Milwaukee, I believe. Uh... Who can play first here? 
Could bring Bernie Carbo in Let's just see who could, who's available to play first. I think Fred Kendall will play first, but he's awful. Yeah, 4E10. Bob Bailey. Nope. Frank Duffy. Nope. Maybe Brohammer. Nope. How about Carbo? Can he play first? No, I don't think so. Fred Ken? Yeah, he's awful though. Alright, so not much of a bench here. So we're going to stick with Scott here. Yeah, we're going to stick with George Scott. Alrighty. Scott comes to the plate here. 0 for 3 on the day. Agro looks in for the sign. Lynn takes his lead at first. Here's the pitch. Ground ball the short. And it gets by Kessinger for a hit. We converge. He fires to first and it's safe. No, actually he fired he did get it, get to it, but it's fired to first. And this call is safe by the umpire in a close play. A first and second now for the Red Sox with two outs. Dwight Evans comes up. He's already got he's two for three with a couple of dingers on the day. The Red Sox could use another dinger now. Actually, a base hit would, but they'll settle for a base hit. Here's the pitch. And he walks him. Looks like he pitched around Evans there. I can't blame him. Maybe he's a relative because his name is Evans too. <laughs> Alrighty, bases loaded now for Butch Hobson. Butch Hobson has the power, but I'm probably going to want to take him out defensively anyway. So let me see how. Let's look at. Let's look at see if Brohammer. See if he's any better. Let's see, Brohammer's 234, so he's not, he hits less and has less power, so. Nope, we are going to bring him in eventually, but after this half of the inning, but we'll let Hobson bat now. He's got more pop. Alright, here's the, here's the pitch to the Red Sox number 9 hitter. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Red Sox could take that walk right now. And he strikes out. Foul tip. Nor Hagen holds on to it. So Hobson fails to come through. So the Red Sox still down by one. They do creep a little bit closer, but still down by one with one inning to go. Alrighty, here's Rolf Gar. He's three for three with two runs. Looks like Drago's still in good condition here. He's only had 21 pitches now. So. Red Sox going to leave him in. Stanley does get up in the pen and starts loosening up. Here's the pitch. And Drago gets him. So finally, Rough Gar is retired. First time today. George Orta's up now. He's two for two with a triple. So the White Sox, top of the lineup has been great today. So the Red Sox have the corners in now for order. Here's the pitch. It's going to be off the Drago's card. Looks like a ground ball to second. And Remy gets him. Two down now. Oh, I forgot to do this. And let's see here. Red Sox are going to go with a defensive substitution here. They're going to bring in Brohammer. Or Hobson, yeah, definitely have to do that. Brohammer is a 3 and E13, and Hobson is a 4 E56. So, definitely a defensive liability, especially late, late in the game. Alrighty, so Lamar Johnson comes up to the plate. He's 0 for 2 with a ribby. Drago looks in for the side. Red Sox are guarding the lines. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to short. 
Pearlson's up with it. Over to Scott. Three up, three down. Beats him by a step. So, the Red Sox coming back in the ninth inning, down by one. Here's Jerry Remy. The Red Sox over the top of the lineup. Jerry Remy comes up. He's one for four. Looks like they're going to leave Legro in there. So, I believe he is the closer. Here's the pitch. And looks like Remy hits it to center field. Lemon's going back. It's up against the wall. Racing hard. Remy coasting the second with a leadoff double. So just the way the Red Sox wanted to start the ninth inning here. Let's see. Let's see if Burleson can get him over to third now. I think we're going to let him hit away. Corners are in there. So yeah, we're going to let him hit away. Here's the windup and the pitch. Looks like a fly ball to left. And he pulls it in. One down. Hmm. Alrighty, Jim Rice up now. See if he can come through in the clutch here. Red Sox need one to tie. And it's a wild pitch on Nordhagen. So, the Remy does move over to third. Well, that's good. <laughs> Unfortunately, that might have been a score, too, if the woulda, coulda, shoulda, though. Who knows? Can't second guess there. But So, fly ball. We'll get Remy in now. He's got good speed. Here's the pitch. Hall's... Rice to do is get some wood on it. And he goes down swinging. So Rice fails to... So the Red Sox are going to need a hit now by Yastrzemski. who's 2 for 3 with a homer. Red Sox down to possibly their last at bat here. Girl looks in for the sign. Here's the pitch. And looks like they're pitching around Yastrzemski wow, there. Stremski trots down the first. Runners on first and third now. Remy the tie run and Yastrzemski the go-ahead run. Fisk's up now. He's 0 for 4. Hmm. 284. 20 horse. We're going to leave Fisk in, but let me just double check it here. He's a lefty, though. What is... What is Legro here? Looks like Legro is a 9 righty. So Legro is really good against righty, so not so good against lefty. So I think we're going to lift Fisk for a pinch hitter here. We're going to bring in Bernie Carbo. Yeah, four righty. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alrighty, Bertie Carbo comes up to the plate. He's had just one up bat in the season without a hit. No girl looks in for the sign. Here's the pitch. Can can Carbo come in, in the clutch like he did in the World Series in 75? The girl winds up. Here's the pitch. And it's a base hit. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was going to be that. I guess not. <laughs> Looks like Orta, Lemon settled under and got the hit there. I saw the dollar sign there, and uh, apparently uh, the pitcher wasn't, didn't apply to him. <laughs> uh. So that wraps things up from Chicago. So the Red Sox fall to the White Sox 5-4. to four. Leaving the tying run at third, 90 feet away. Oh, man. <laughs> All 
All right, let's get the box score here. All righty, so for the Red Sox, Kyle Yastrzemski was two for three with a homer. Uh, the uh, Red Sox star was Dwight Evans. He was two for three with two homers. Red Sox managed just seven hits, as did the White Sox. But top of the order did it for the White Sox. There, five five of the White Sox seven hits came from the number one and two hitters. Ralph Gar was three for four. George Orta was two for three. But the big blow came from Barry Bonds with a big three run homer in the third, which stood up. So Bill Lee takes the loss. He pitched four in a third inning, allowing seven hits, five runs, one walk, and one strikeout. It's a typical Bill Lee uh, line there. Not many walks or strikeouts. And. Let's see. Dick Drago came and pitched fine in relief, allowing no runs, no hits, and three and two thirds innings. A couple of strikeouts. The win goes to Wilbur Wood. He pitched seven and a third innings, five hits, four runs, five walks, and two strikeouts. Again, a typical line for him. Uh, and Larry Negro earned his first save with one and two thirds innings of relief of two hit ball. Walking three and striking out three. Wasn't easy for the girl, but he did earn the save. So that's it from Chicago. Let's look at the standings real quick. That's not where we want to look. Let's see. League stats. There we go. Alrighty. So the Red Sox fall to one and two. Toronto and Baltimore are in first place with the records of two and one. Kansas City is leading the uh, West two and zero. Oh. Although Minnesota is four and one, they played a, three more games than than the Kansas City has. And that's it. I don't think I've played any National League stuff yet. Nope. I have not done anything with that. So anyway, so that's it here from Chicago. Let's see where the Red Sox travel to play next. Let's see here. All right, the Red Sox next travel to Cleveland where we take on the Indians. Well, it would be Jim Kern pitching for Cleveland. Going up against... No, I'm sorry, not Jim Kern. Don Hood pitching for Cleveland. Going up against Alan Ripley for the Red Sox. That's it. That's it today from High Ground Gaming. Hope you enjoyed the game. God bless and take care. We'll see you for game number four in Cleveland next.